in my opinion, training and awareness is one of the most important streams in the SAM model. I mean, if you have a zero score everywhere, I would start here. This should be your definitely one of your highest priority points if you have no training and awareness program going on. Now, what does good look like for this stream? First of all, and the lowest bar is that all stakeholders are getting a basic training to know what the playing field looks like. So core concepts training for everyone. Think of that OWASP top 10 awareness training. Think of secure design principles trainings. Every basic training that provides a good overview of what application security is all about. Now, again, that is the bare minimum. The next step is to add role-specific and technology-specific training. So everyone understands the expectations applicable to their roles. A good idea here is to add perhaps some benefit and recognition for the people participating in this. Think of color belts, stars, or maybe some other reward mechanism. You could go even further and allow or disallow access to resources based on the training. For instance, new people joining the team can't commit code unless they've passed necessary trainings around secure coding. Or before giving someone access to the build pipelines, he or she has to complete a specific training on securing the pipelines. Now, of course, not every access and every training but it is essential to understand what the key topics are and that leads us back to your risks. At the first maturity level, the question is, do you require training? And the quality criteria here are that the training needs to be consistent, readily available and regularly updated. Basic ideas of good security hygiene in software should be provided to everyone regularly. And then you must make sure also that the new staff is getting it as well. So you need to require that training during onboarding. Very important. Moving to level two, you have customized the trainings. Completing it is expected, not a nice thing if you have time to do. It is also mandatory for all employees and contractors. You should identify subject matter experts in each technology to assist with procuring or developing the training content and you need to update it regularly. You focus your trainings on the tooling that is used at your organization. And finally, you actually poll participants and their feedback to evaluate the quality and relevance of each training. At level three, the question is whether you are tracking progress. At this level, you have all trainings run through a learning management system to show who's completed a particular curriculum. You can be providing metrics back to indicate, by the way, how well the teams are doing to get their trainings completed. At this level, you also base your training material on internal standards and policies. So you have compliance related required trainings. Again, going back to whatever you need to comply with. If you need to comply with HIPAA or PCI DSS, then there should be training regarding that material. And as I've mentioned in the definition of good, you manage access to resources based on training attendance. One final note, if you've decided to go for gamification in training. So again, think of those color belts and rewarding systems. Putting up an individual leaderboard for the training is very motivating for some, but could be soul crushing for others. So keep this in mind. And doing this at the team level is perhaps the recommendation to go with. <laughs>